Okay, so at this point we are a good ways for the flower fields. Uh, last time we fed all the berries, uh, all the flowers that were guarding the gates, their designated berries. And at this point it's really just a matter of giving the water stone back to Lily st and meeting Spike, aka Lackluster, and then stopping the Puff Puff machine. Should be pretty simple. Hey, dude. Oh, yeah, we're in peril. <laughs> I forgot about that. Ouch! That one was a little too far. Is Amazy Daisy out? No, Amazy Daisy is not out. Rats. Good written, see ya bees. Nope, not picking up that heart. It's a trap. Ouch, that bee's gotta hurt. Paracarry's pretty powerful now. Maybe I should upgrade him to Ultra Rank more often, even in the vanilla game. Nah. He's just not that good in the vanilla game. Oh, I don't have any room for more stuff. Doggone it. That's actually kind of bad. I'm going to throw away the Dizzy Dial, then, and I'm going to drink me a honey syrup. Alright. Lily's over here and is in desperate need of a water stone. Which we managed to get from Rosie last time. Oh, it's the water stone! Quickly, put it in the hole over there! I love this part of the game. The effects, the visual effects here are really cool. <laughs> With the water. This whole world is really pretty. So now that the water stone is back, this area fills up with water, which is a blessing and a curse. Oh, it's water! Sweet water! The spring is full of water! It's not, I'm floating again! Oh, this is paradise! Thank you so very much! I'll give you some miracle water from this spring! Here you are! We get miracle water! Very cold. This is the most nourishing water around! It's water with a little, little lily extract! If you use this miracle water on any plant, it'll grow like a game busters. Uh, but not right now, because there's no sun. Oh yes, great idea! You should go see about getting the sun back into the sky. A resourceful guy like you must have some idea about how to get the sun back up again. I bet you'll do it! You saved me after all. I mean, Lily, the, the sun is still up in the sky, it's just the clouds are blocking us from being able to see him. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> On sushi! Alright, so unfortunately we're gonna have to throw something away. Out of all this stuff, I don't really care about a dizzy dial. We need a bubble berry, though. I don't think you can really make any unique recipes with bubble berry. I think you might be able to make the big cookie, though. Oh! Do I dare? I do. I do dare. Ah, uh, but the ama here's the thing about the Amazy Daisy, though. I'm not so much worried about the Amazy Daisy, I'm worried about its friends that it probably has. I'm gonna try it, but also I'm not feeling super optimistic about it. Okay. Do that. Probably D down. Yeah, D down jump is going to be good. And then, I don't know, I guess. Jump charge, maybe? Okay, so first off, I want to take out this, this Daisy over here first. Because he's going to be problematic. It's 
risky, because Amazy Daisy could very easily just flat out kill me. I think Amazy Daisy... Well, I mean, it doesn't matter that I'm at 1 HP. Amazy Daisy is going to deal max damage anyways. All right. Seven? That's actually... You know... Um... What are you doing? Amazy Daisy sings a haunting melody. Three turns remain. What? That's new! Hi, Amazy Daisy! It's an Amazy Daisy. Amazy Daisies are so rare that they're also called the legendary Crazy Daisies. These guys almost always flee at their first chance. It would be nice to beat one, but be careful their attacks power pack a powerful punch. Sounds like they're doing... Hmm. So, are they just going to flat out attack every turn, or is it literally just you gotta kill it before free turns are up? Okay, it it attacks normally. Great. Oh, and OBS died for no reason. Great. You know, that's okay, because we can just get back to where we were. Okay, so moral of the story is um, Amazy Daisy can still hurt like the Dickens. So we will not be fighting one right now. Okay, it looks like my internet has stabilized a bit. That is good. Yeah, we're just gonna leave the Amazy Daisy area. We'll fight one later, but as of right now, I don't think so. However, we are at this point kind of full on our inventory, so we're gonna head back to Toad Town. Also, this guy's taking a note out of Kepora Gebora's book, and he's like, Oh, you want to talk to me by default? No, I, I want to go back to Toad Town by default. So has he just cleared out entirely? Oh, buddy, I'm cleaned out! I've got nothing more to sell! You were one serious repeat customer, bud! I can practically retire now! This town was real nice, but I think I'll take a trip. Thanks, bud, you're the man. Okay, I think I bought everything at his bad shop, then. Excellent. Oh, another thing we need to do is we still need to do the Boo Challenge for World 5. And I think I'll keep take advantage of the fact that I'm in peril. <laughs> it's Shroom Grocery, alright. Chuck my jam and jelly. Chuck one of my maple syrups. Chuck my healthy juice. In the meantime, let's see if we can claim some stuff. Lime candy. All this stuff is... Why is there so much FP refilling stuff in this game? I'll get a honey super. Then in the meantime, if I'm going to do the Boo Challenge, I need to set up my badges properly, so it's World Fu- Oh, never mind, hang on. Kawiz! It's time for Chuck Quizmo! Let's go to the question! <laughs> question. Which of the following tour trips is offered by Toe Town Tours? It's not the Tropical Resort. I'm going to say Blossom Festival Tour? Nope, of course- It's always the last one. Oh well, anyhow. As I was saying, I need to adjust my badges properly. If it's World 5, I'm going to want the Ice Power and uh, Fire Shield badges. I don't think I'll need Defend Plus if I'm just... My goal is to just stay in peril the whole time, so I, don't, I won't need that. I will equip Close Call. Actually, no, I won't. I'll be equipping Ice Power, Fire Shield. Uh, spike Shield, we're going to keep on for those uh, Spike Tops. We don't need Zap Tap, though. Because, again, ideally, we don't let the enemies attack us at all. We will equip Close Call... Hmm, and what else? Maybe Happy Flower? Huh. We'll equip a uh, Power Quake, how about? Or Mega Quake. Yeah, Mega Quake. Mega Quake, I think, will just insta KOs everything on screen. Oh, wait, hang on. Before we do that, we gotta save! 
Actually, I'll keep Paracarry out. I always have Quick Change. I'm kind of wondering, because chap the Chapter 4 challenge threw an anti-guy at us at the end. What is... Is the Chapter 5 challenge going to throw something crazy at us? I hope not, but also, probably it will. Hey, Lou. Are you ready for a trial? Oh. Oh, oh, wait. Okay. Which trial do you want? Okay, yeah, so it's saying Chapter 5. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, or is it like, it fights all enemies from the late worlds? No. Chapter 5. It's 15 coins, entry fee, yeah. Alright. I think multi-bounce alone is just going to be very, very useful. <laughs> if we're in peril. Mega Rush, if you, if you take advantage of it, is ridiculously good. And sure enough, this is why we equip Spike Shield as well. <laughs> it's even enough to kill Mr. Medi Guy. Paracurry's like, oh boy, I get to be in battles for once. I also believe Heart Plants are in a similar vein where um, they're technically spiky on top, even though it doesn't look like they are. So Spike Shield helps. Round 3 is down. Yeah, uh, all this power boosting stuff plus Mega Bounce, or Multi Bounce, is actually really powerful. <laughs> Against these common enemy swarms. Yeah, this is really easy. <laughs> Live dangerously. And I have FP boosting items if I need them. Hide- okay. Actually, if I, if I do Mega Quake... I will not be able to use Bow on the next turn. Or I will not be able to use Out of Sight. Honestly, Mr. Magikoop is not going to turn non-transparent on this turn, so... Regardless of what I do, I'm just going to use Power Shell. This will kill the Piranha Plants. Or the Putrid Piranhas, and then he'll run away. There we go. Round five is down. Here we go. Eleven damage with one jump. Oh my gosh, I insta-killed the spike top by jumping on it. And I don't even have the ultra boots yet. This is insane. This badge setup is so powerful. Would you do the honors, Cooper? I could have let the I could have just shell tossed the putrid piranha, but I wanted that one sweet, sweet star point from the Magic Koopa. Now it's round eight. Okay. This is where I think I'm gonna need to um, munch on a lime candy. Wow, Fan Smack takes 8 FP normally in this hack. That's ridiculous. Oh wait, does that boost defense? No, attack. Okay. I think Multi Bounce will be powerful enough to kill the Chomp. Oh, Chomp has 6 HP. Actually, that might not be enough. It's just enough! Sweet! And Magikoop is going to run away now, which is actually great. If Magikoop is the only enemy on screen, he will always run away, cutting his losses where it is. Sweet. All right. Excellent. Don't get cocky. There's still one round left. All right. Brain it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We had to eat a lime candy, but, you know, that's fine. I wasn't going to use it for anything else. Congratulations! That was your first time clearing that trial. I'm so proud of you, really. After taking my cut, you earned 31 coins. 41. As for your prize, I hope you like this, because you've certainly earned it. Ultra Shroom! 
Well, I think we should use that right away. Ultra Shroom and that Maple Syrup. Whip up something fabulous for me, honey. Boo -doo 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 -doo. You look like you're on Death's Door. Here, take a Maple Ultra. Alright, sweet. The challenge was really, really easy. We're just going to manage our inventory a little bit, re-equip some badges, and go back into Flower Fields with our 1 HP, because, yeah, we're going to stay in peril. Which might be a bad idea when we're going up against Lack of Lester, I mean Spike. Actually, now that I think about it, I should probably get a Life Shroom or two. Nah. Actually, no. I Mega Rush has been fun, but I'm going to unequip it, just because... I'm not going to be able to kill Spike in one cycle with it and tattle on him. I will keep multi-bounce and multi-mega um, quake. I'm going to equip all those. I need... Boop, boop. I need one more. There's nothing spiky in here. Except for the spinies, I guess. Eh, I'll equip it just in case. Do do do. Now, as as tempting as it is, as tempting as it is to take on Lack of Lester with um one HP, I know I'm gonna die, and I don't have any life shrooms. I should have grinded for some off-stream, but I didn't. Oh, well. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. It was a superb sleep. I w <laughs> Mario's like, I really needed that. I've been at 1 HP for the last, like, two hours in-game. <laughs> Alright, back to flower fields, folks. And eh, we'll save here. We can now go to the upper left with our newfound Bubbleberry. Hi, my name's Bubble Plant. You want to know why my name's Bubble Plant? I'll tell you if you give me a Bubbleberry. Here you go. Oh, awesome. Good going. Okay, get a load of this. <laughs> um. Uh... There! Isn't it great? It's very nice. And this is our only way of getting across. Hey, bzap! Okay. Oh, darn it. He's elect He's electrified, and I forgot to turn Zap Tap back on. Well, I at least gotta kill these stupid bees. Great. Bo, you gotta kill this stupid bee. Good job, Bo. Wow, I defended it. Nice. Are you going to boost defense? He sure as cuss is. Where's D... <laughs> Where's D down jump when you need it, huh? That's okay. I've got... Actually, no, these guys are immune to Watt, aren't they? Well, I kind of got no choice now. I can't remember if Watt actually damages this guy. He does? Okay, sweet. Alright, in that case, we'll do nothing. Wow, I cannot believe I'm actually timing that. Also, am I going to regret not having Spike Shield on for Lack of Lester? He might be holding Spinies above his head for the fight. I would not put it past this hack. Ooh, yeah! Look at that cash money!
Hi, Wakatu. I'm gonna ignore you. Oh yeah, this is like casually one of my favorite badges, but it's probably not that good. The Mega Smash Badge! That was like my favorite badge when I played this game as a kid. Ooh, and best music. I love this music. Hey, hello. I never thought anybody would come all the way up here. I'm the sun. No, it's not entirely true. I should say I was the sun. The clouds that came out of the Puff Puff machine that Huff and Puff built. Those clouds keep me from climbing into the sky. I'm a complete failure as a sun. All of those flowers and plants and flower fields are suffering. Where is it? You mean the Puff Puff Machine? I think it's east of here. The clouds seem to come from over there anyway. Why do you want to know? Do you think you can break the Puff Puff Machine? Nah, there's no way. Don't strain yourself. You might as well go home. Such a sad character. Such sad music, but so powerful. Hey, hey, hey! Hold up! Wait, man! Hey, man! I don't think we've ever met, have we? I mean, you're Mario, right? My name is Black Lester. Uh, no, it's Michael. No, um... Oh, oh, yeah, Spike. Yeah, yeah, I'm Spike. Well, whatever. Never mind. Look, I don't have a problem with you personally, but I've got orders from Huff and Puff. Sorry, man, but I gotta give you a bit of a beatdown. Like I said, man, sorry. Does that sound cool? Ha! Yeah, totally cool. Here it comes, man! Alright, Lackaluster. I hope you're not a Lackaluster fight. I think he only has 50 HP, so we should beat him in like four turns. So this said his name is Spike. He seems to be a Lackaluster, but he's the weirdest one I've ever seen. I wonder what his real name is. It's Lackaluster. Easy. <laughs> wow, yeah, this guy's going down real fast. Okay, well, that hurt. The timing on that is a little weird. Wow, this guy's going down really fast. Oh my goodness. Bye, Lackluster. You've put up a terrible fight, honestly. Ah, Man, you're tough as nails! I give up, man. Go on. Do your worst. I'm not afraid of it. Do whatever you do to guys you've defeated. Fire flower in the eye. Pal block. Wait! Hey, Nintendo Addict, how you doing? Yeah, they didn't buff him in any way. I think they doubled his damage output, though. Ah, oh, no, Wackalulu! No, please! Please have mercy on my poor sweet Lackalester! God, don't call me Lackalester! It's Spike, remember? I told you I changed my name last month. Come on, now! Man, I mean, gee whiz, you're always embarrassing me like this. Although, for some reason it makes me like you even more. I mean, what? No! Did I just say that out loud? I forgot I said that. Anyway, I lost the challenge man to man, so we have to settle this. I have to face the music. Mario, please forgive him! My Wackalester was just following off of Puff's orders! Yeah, we can forgive him. Really? Oh, for real? You'll forgive him? Oh, thank you! I want Lackalulu in my party. Stop calling me Lackalester! It's such a stupid name! My name is Spike! Spike! Don't you ever listen to me? <sighs> I'm beginning to think that this whole deal is stupid. I was working for Huff and Puff to be part of something big, but all I've been doing is picking pointless fights. This isn't what I wanted in life. What I wanted was to travel the world with the greatest seated group of all time, the Happy Yodelers. <laughs> I got a question. What are you doing all this fighting for? Um, for Peach? <laughs> to challenge myself? <laughs> no real reason. I just thought this hack sounded cool. Man, you're such a cool customer. You're out there every day risking life and limb just because you feel like it? Wow, talk about a tough guy. 
You know what? I want to fight just because I feel like it. I'm going with you. Oh no, Wacka Lester, you can't leave me. Please take me with you. Both of them joined my party. Ah, oh, Wacka Lulu, chill out. You gotta understand. I'm doing this for you, don't you see? I'm going. I gotta be a man. Wait for me. I'll return a much more manly Wacka to. Oh, okay. I'll wait for you, Wacka Lester. But you'll be sorry if you don't come back to me in one piece. I swear if you make me worry, I'll take a spiny ant. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> I guess I better make sure that I'm tougher than you by the time I come back, huh? See me off with a smile now. You're so much cuter when you show me those pearly whites. Bye for now. Lackluster joined your party. Press down C to ride Lackluster over spikes and lava. While in battle, he can attack by throwing a spiny egg and his spiny flip ability, or attack all enemies by throwing many spiny eggs at once with spiny surge. Yeah, but he's not that great. Oh my, Lackluster, come back to me soon. I'll be waiting with a smile. Da, ah, come on. Call me Spike. Gotta get that shooting star. Ultra oh yeah, I'm getting Ultra Boots right away. Right away. No! I can't lose to a Bazap after coming this far. Let's get rid of the bees with Starstorm. I I want to like Lackluster, but he's just a fairly lackluster party member, to be perfectly honest. Like, his main gimmick being that he can attack enemies without directly touching them. Which is, like, cool in theory, but there are very few enemies that you really need to do that for. Buff his defense all you want. Are you kidding me, OBS? That is the third time that OBS has crashed on me this stream. What is wrong with this? Anyways, let's take out Green Magic Koopa. How do you nerf Lackalester more? His damage output is pitiful. Take that, Mr. Chubby Cheeks. Yeah, I get that they keep nerfing the group attacks, but like, all Lackalester's spiny surge doesn't need to be nerfed. It barely deals any damage anyways. It's only good for taking out like a bunch of enemies with like basically no HP. Alright, we gotta take a nap now. And we also have to get Ultra Boots. Because that is very important. Also, how many items do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we got seven. I'm still gonna store those shooting stars for later. Saving my shooting stars for the Crystal Cane. Or, honestly, maybe Huff and Puff. Depending on how difficult the fight is, I might use a couple of them. Honestly, I should take the stopwatch, shouldn't I? If I don't use it now, I'm never going to use it. I just have a Fire Flower in here. I'll sell that. Actually, no, I, I need that. Well, no, I can always buy another one. It's fine. Electro Pop, sure. My bad, dude. Keep my Fire Flower. I'm gonna need it for, uh... I'm gonna need Fire Flower for, uh, making frozen fries. Because I'm too lazy to buy a new Fire Flower. Hey, Vince! How's it going? Yeah, it has been a while. How have you been? Thanks for joining in. This is, uh, Paper Mario Pro Mode. It's like a... It's a, a mod made for Paper Mario, but makes it a lot harder. But also, a lot more... Well, not, I'm not gonna say more enjoyable, but this has been very enjoyable to play. Huff and Puff is probably going to be very tough in this in this hack. Yeah, I agree, Nintendo Addict. I well, Puff and Puff, I I consider to be the toughest fight in the game casually. I can't even imagine what these hard, what these pro mode buffs are going to do to him. Even just double damage alone is going to turn him into a very nasty fight. Ugh. All right, off to get some ultra boots. Oh yeah. Pfft. Why did I think that I had the Ultra Boots already? 
I don't... Yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, pfft. it's time for Mega Quake! That was Supreme Overkill. I probably can unequip that and just equip Power Quake instead. You've been playing more back your baseball 2003. You're in the playoffs. Nice. Exciting times. I'm going to get back to backyard baseball streams in a, uh, eventually. I'm taking a bit of a break, though. I don't want to burn myself out on it. Okay, yeah, I, I think I only really need Power Quick. I also think I can... I don't need Mega Rush. I'll unequip a Damage Dodge and equip Zap Tap. I feel like that's going to be a little more uh, useful. All right, Lack of Lester. All right, yeah, I think I think literally just a Power Quake will take these guys out as well. Yep. And that takes quite a bit less FP, and we really should conserve. We only have 20 FP, but I don't really need more than 20 FP because of my flower saving badges. And the excess amount of maple syrup that the game's handing out. I forgot that was there, too. Ouch! How dare you! Eat my power quick! Your highest run in a game was 37 0? You got four straight Deaners of Angela? Holy cow, that is in insane. That's definitely better than I've done. I'm still trying to get 20 to 0 in one game. Ouch. I can keep power quaking you guys all day. Doesn't matter. <laughs> no, no. Backyard baseball does not have a mercy rule at all. You play until it's over. I always find it amusing that they have the super blo hammer block there. Oh, gotta avoid the booze. But they... Oh, and then there's the ultra hammer. It's it's kind of strange. But I'll accept it. Alright. I, I can keep power quaking, you guys. I don't have a problem with this. <laughs> I mean, they keep giving me my FP back, basically, so... <laughs> nice lag. I love it. Alright! We got the Ultra Boots. Our jump power increases! And we can do the cool spin jump now. I've always loved the sound effect that plays when you do the spin jump like this. So It's so pleasing to the ears. <gasps> yes! I need Life Shroom! Why are there swoopulas? Why are there swoopulas? <laughs> You're, this is not Crystal Palace. <laughs> Doggone it. They're one HP away from being able to get killed by... Uh, by Power Quake. Well, this isn't good. I don't know if that's even really possible to action guard. <laughs> Guess what, guys? Now they can get killed by uh, Power Quake. <laughs> well, Zap Tap just completely shuts down Swoopulas. Yeah, I don't see any way to action guard that. Which is kind of dumb. He's like, what the heck? You're doing six damage per jump? Yes, yes, life shroom. Yes, life shroom. I oh, I I need life shroom. Bad. <laughs> there, yes, there is a limit cap for HP, FP, and badge points. Yeah, I've already, I hit the BP cap really early on, because BP is just so much better than every other stat. <laughs> Although, I think I'm at the point now where I probably need to up my FP a little more. Because I'm using some of those more... costly abilities. Why in the world do you think I would want a POW block at this point in the game? How about... 
I wanted to run away, but apparently that's not going to happen. <laughs> you can't see what you can't you can't scare what you can't see. Okay, let's try to run away this time. There we go. Yeah, if you play the game casually, you're probably unlikely to hit any of the stat caps. Because BP is... Having a lot of BP is one of those things you don't really realize is super busted until after you've played the game once. Because I know on my first several playthroughs, I, whenever I leveled up, I would just kind of, like, cycle through, like, I'll upgrade HP, then FP, then BP, then HP, then FP, then BP. And now, now I'm like, <laughs> no, I'll upgrade HP and FP, like, a couple times and then just put everything into BP. Especially once you know where to look and find all the badges. BP is so good. <laughs> Alright, well... We made it out of there. Nice. All right, back to fl well, no, take a nap. Back to flower fields. We can fin we can definitely finish flower fields this stream. Huff and Puff might take a few attempts. I'm prepared for that. In fact, I'll honestly be a little disappointed if Huff and Puff doesn't take me a few attempts. <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. We first have to destroy that nasty old Puff Puff machine. Oh, hello, wise Winterwood. We're back. I probably should upgrade Lack of Lester. It'll make him more viable for the boss fight. Hey, Janae, how are you doing? The <laughs> mom's on the warpath. Well, if you have to duck out early in Nintendo Attic, no worries. I'm happy you were able to join. Hope you have a great night. Now we can solve the tricky puzzle. <laughs> it's actually not that tricky. Hi there, Rough Puff. Actually, what am I doing? I should fight them. I should fight them. Like a man. Well, doggone it. Lack of Lester is just not good enough to be able to kill them all with a spiny surge. Okay, I am not... I'm not spending 8 FP to use Air Raid with Paracarry. I'll just... I'll just avoid their attacks and then do another multi-bounce. He gets an electric charge! That's okay, I have Zap Tap. I literally don't care. Outta here! Man, multi-bounce is actually really busted when you combine it with the right badge setup. <laughs> nice job, Bo. Thanks for protecting me. All right, you. Oh, hey! Yellow Magikoopa, I really don't care about you. You know why? Because you can't really do anything. Your electrified attacks don't mesh well with the Zap Tap. But I'm gonna kill him before he gets a chance to run away like a little coward. Oh! Ouch! Ouch. That hurt a lot, actually. Chubby cheeks. I love I love the expressions the enemies have when you beat them up, especially the Lakitu's expression. All right, Rough Puff. Man, they actually dealt a whole lot of damage to me. It's I do have a life shroom though, so I'm less worried. Oh, thank you for the hearts. With this, you can upgrade your party. Ma okay, here here you go, Lack of Lester. He got upgraded to super rank. Hot dog! Time for one of the most evilly hidden star pieces in the game. 
I don't know how anyone would find this without using the fortune teller. But there it is! <laughs> Thanks, game. Oh boy, it's a letter from our friends to Min T in Toad Town. How appropriate that there's a letter for her in the flower fields that she's obsessed with. First time you played for this, you thought that getting the seeds would be optional and gives you a side area. No, no, everything here is is required. Okay. So there are a couple of ways to trigger trigger this battle. You can, I think, talk to them, or you can start beating up the puff muff machine. I think I'll do the latter. Hey, what are you doing? The puff puff machine's delicate, man. Didn't you know? If you break it, we're gonna be in a world of hurt. Didn't you hear me? Stop it! If you break that machine, how are we supposed to keep filling the sky with clouds, huh? You ever think of that, genius? You think clouds just appear out of thin air or something? <laughs> Wait a minute! You're ma ma mario <laughs> Oh, my. Oh, this is actually... Good. This actually might be uh, tricky. Oh, this actually might be kind of tricky. Hmm. Hey, you know what, guys? We're going to show off the power of Air Raid. Wow. Wow. That's impossible to do on a GameCube controller. That is, like, actually impossible to do on a GameCube controller. Yeah, keep electrifying him, it's fine. But you know what? That weakened the Lakitu is just enough. <laughs> the Lakitu is a little bit slow on the up uptake. And eh, we might as well out of sight. We have the FP for it. Yeah, I think I pronounce a lot of names differently than other people. I've always said Lakitu. And likewise, when I play Zelda, I always call the scrubs Deku scrubs, not Deku scrubs. Uh, Mario, this is gonna hurt. I'm sorry. I didn't think we would need Spike Shield! Ouch! Why did you do that? <laughs> Ouch. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. Watt can finish him off. <laughs> Time for the most powerful attack. Ten oh my gosh, one star point away from leveling up, of course. Ah, retreat, boys! He beat us, but good! <laughs> Look at those chumps run away! Alright, now Mario, we better do something about this Puff Puff machine, huh? I love how they force him to come out if he's not your main party member. In case you, they gasp, didn't have him in your party to begin with. Goodbye, Puff Puff Machine! Wow! The clouds are gone! It's time for a little sunshine! That happened fast. The clouds just immediately evaporated. Oh, precious sunlight! Ho 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 ho! Mario did it! He saved the flower fields! Oh, yes! The sun! Yay! Yippee! The sun's back! Whoops! <laughs> Losing control like that. It's so unlike me. Oh, the bright rays of the sun! Once again, I can gaze at the sparkles of light on the water. Oh, you. Oh, it's about time. The sun. Flower fields is saved. And, of course, the sunlight can only add to my beauty. Blech! It's the sun! It's the sun! Oh, that heat feels so good! Maybe being stuck in one place isn't so bad after all. I feel full of life again. Aw, oh, she's so happy. Helping folks feels good. I can get used to this, man. Mario, what are you doing next? I'll follow you anywhere. Oh boy, because we've gotten one heck of a boss fight coming up. Oh man, we have to fight Luff and Puff. Doggone it. <laughs> That's not cool, bro. Now comes the happy sun music that everybody loves. 
Bum, 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 bum. Okay, well, I mean, obviously we are going to get one more kill. <laughs> so we can get the, uh... So we can get the level up. Oh, no! No FP! <laughs> I probably should have gotten, one of, gotten rid of one of the crazy daisies first. Alright, Black Lester, you better deal four damage. Thank you. <laughs> Hop, skip, and a jump! Hop, skip, and a jump! Yes! I still have the timing down. When the last musical note is right above your head, that's when you push the A button to action guard. It actually seems to work. Yes! Four star points! <laughs> Alright, folks. HP or FP? I would love to do BP, but I can't increase it anymore. Mmm, I feel like I'm at the point where I might need more FP, but also... Actually, hmm. What do people think in Twitch chat? I could go for either of these, honestly. <laughs> FP? Alright. It's unanimous. FP it is. That's what I was leaning towards anyway, so good choice. Alrighty. Let's get ready to fight the Master of the Clouds. Oh, we have to we have to talk to this guy. Oh thank you, Mario. You did a tremendous job. You cleared off those clouds so the sun could rise once more. It's so nice seeing my dear flower fields full of light again after such a long time. There's nothing like sunlight. Oh yes, of course, you should plant that magical bean, don't you think? It should grow well now. I'd say the best place for you to plant it would be right over there where you can see the soil. Okie dokie. Alright, fertile soil first. Then magical bean. Then miracle water. And this is low-key one of my favorite songs in the game. The music that plays when the beanstalk grows. It's such a weird, but yet oddly enchanting psalm, honestly. <laughs> I like the, uh, is it the Bolero effect, I think it is? Where it's like the same set of notes repeated over and over again. Ho ho ho, success! Look at that sprout! Now you can go up to the cloudy climb. Best of luck, son. Hmm, my spot seems to be getting less and less sunny. How disappointing. Ah, oh, sorry, bro. The sound effect slash music here is is really good. <laughs> this area is so weird too. It's the cloud area that's filled with all of the food. I wonder if they were like going originally going to make a dungeon before Huff and Puff, but then decided against it because Flower Fields itself is a, a just a giant dungeon. All right, I didn't save before going up here because I want to grab this badge, then go back down, set up my badges, save, so that way, if I inevitably die to Huff and Puff, which I probably will, then I won't uh, have to keep getting this over and over again. Super Jump Charge, not really a fan of that badge. I generally prefer a regular Jump Charge, but to each their own. I'm not sure if I've ever ridden the Beanstalk downwards. I don't think I have. Li I literally don't think I've ever ridden the beanstalk back downwards again, because I only ride it up, beat Huff and Puff, and then it warps you back down. All right, badge set up for Huff and Puff. We will not be needing multi bounce if we want to take on all of the little guys. Then we're going to just use Spiny Surge. Hammer attacks are going to be useless. Um, I don't. I wonder if Huff and Puff has defense. I think I'll equip the D-Down Jump Badge just in case he has defense. That quick change is a must for this fight. 
Oh, I definitely want that damage dodge, though. Uh, I also want Zap Tap, though. Oh, I want it all. It's like it's like Veruca Salt. Okay, no, no to D down jump then. I definitely need damage dodge. Um, what else? I can afford a badge that costs one FP. I don't think shrink stone. You know what? <laughs> we will equip a multi bounce. Worst case, we can use multi bounce to jump on all of the little puffs. All right. Now that's done. What's our inventory like? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got two stuff. <laughs> this is probably not the best inventory, but we're gonna try it. I'm too lazy to go back and actually change my inventory. All right. We're about. We're approaching who I consider to be the toughest boss in the game casually, and I'm guessing hard mode buffs are going to make him much, much nastier. All by itself, if the tu if his little tough puffs deal double damage, that's really going to be a, such a pain in the butt. And Huff and Puff himself, on the rare occasions he actually does attack, is really strong too. So, oh, actually, you know what I'll do? If you have Lackluster in your party to begin with, he actually gives you special dialogue. Are you a man named Mario? And did you or did you not break one Puff Puff machine? What possessed you to do that? You completely ruined my plan to cover flower fields and clouds. You see, I was going to turn this sunlight blasted place into a cloud covered paradise. But I can't expect a man of your intellect to understand. Is that you, Spike? So, you have betrayed me. You will be punished. I was given this star spirit by King Bowser. I'll never give it up to the likes of you. You will both pay dearly for your crimes! Oh boy, huff and puff time, folks. Alright, it doesn't look like he has any defense. I'm gonna start by tattling on the tough puffs. Oh my gosh, some of the tough puffs are transparent. You've gotta be kidding me. These are the tough puffs that break off when you damage huff and puff. Tough puffs will fly over you and attack you directly. You have to shake them off. Yeah, 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 I know this. Oh, great. So some of the Tough Puffs that break off him are just transparent for literally no reason. Master Hufflepuff, I wish to pummel Mario too! Permission to attack? Yes, take him! Okay, they, so they do have buffed attack, and they are harder to break free from, but also I have Defend Plus, which is doubly effective, so yeah. Alright, I guess all, perfectly balanced as all things should be, basically. <laughs> Now we title on the man himself. This is Huff and Puff. He's a giant cloud monster. His thunder attack is very dangerous. If you don't defend, you'll take massive damage, especially on pro mode. If you attack Huff and Puff's little clouds called the Tough Puffs when they come out, or they come out, then their damage is based on the amount of damage you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, great. Look at all those transparent clouds. Yeah, it is really hard to break free of these guys. Granted, there all are six of them swarming me. I hate how much button- oh boy, this attack's gonna be nasty! Oh my gosh, it is really, really hard! Oh my gosh, it is so difficult to actually mash out of this. Six damage. I think I mashed all the way down to free, which is nice. Alright, we gotta- we gotta take out some of these guys. Oh my gosh, they didn't kill them? No! Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. So they don't have 1 HP anymore? Did I not see that? Oh, that's not good. And he has buffed HP as well. Great. <sighs> Alright. Smooch me. Yeah, wow. Do they expect you to go out of your way to upgrade him to Ultra Rank for him to be contributing anything useful to this battle? Wow! Give me bow. <gasps> Bow's regular smack attack is actually pretty good. 
because it makes the weak tough pups appear. You've asked for it. Now you'll witness the full power of my storm! Master Hufflepuff, leave him to me! Oof, they're so tiny now. I hate all the mashing you have to do in this fight. <laughs> and this is why I had Zap Tap equipped. Because now we can jump on him here during this. And now we got it out of sight. <laughs> oh, I probably should have used Chill Out. Chill Out is really good against this guy. I also realized if some of them are transparent, multi bounce is going to be trash. Oh, yeah, they all have 4 HP dunk on it. They would do something like that, wouldn't they? Can I select to not... Okay, no, you know what? We're just gonna keep jumping on Huff and Puff. Most of the ones that are he has currently out are the tiny ones, so he won't get that much HP back. Ouch, man, they hit hard. Alright, he's gonna buff his HP again. That's a lot of HP back, but we are slowly but surely whittling him away. Yeah, Bo's gonna be our savior in this fight. Thank goodness there's a cap on the number of tough puffs he can have out. That really is a lifesaver. Alright, what you gonna do, bro? Oh no, I hate this attack on pro mode. It is so much harder to, t to mash out of this. I'm just not that good at mashing! <sighs> wow. Dealt less damage this time, though. That's nice. Oh my gosh. We're gonna fan smack. Oh my gosh, why is the... Why are these... Why are all of these tap the left stick repeatedly so impossible to do? Bo's regular smack and, um... What's the other? And Spiny Surge are not that difficult, but wow. Oh my gosh, wait, can we actually kill him this turn? I don't think we can. No, no, I think we can. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Shell Shot. Goodbye! <laughs> wow, that was actually... Okay, I didn't even die to him. Great. For a loaf of bread? No, I cannot lose! Wow, I had a way easier time with that guy on pro mode than I did first time playing him casually. Man, you know what? Paracarry, I'm sorry for trash-talking you all for this list, but you know, he's actually been really good as a boss killer. I forgot how powerful Shellshot is. As well as the fact that he can hit literally anything with it and not take damage, which is fantastic. <laughs> Thanks! <Yeah>, I believe you. <laughs> you. Yeah, I can't believe it, because I, I am kind of famous for uh, just hating on Paracarry a lot, but he's actually been pretty good. And so it was that Mario and Party defeated the cloud, the cruel cloud Huffinpuff, and set free the sixth star spirit. Mario and Party? I thought that was Mario Party. R please be quiet. The narrator's talking. The thick clouds that have once cast dark shadows have gone, and the flower fields is bathed in sunshine again. A single star spirit waits to be rescued, and waits for it to take its place in the star sanctuary. Perhaps you will see Princess Peach soon. Perhaps. Just wait and see. Kami Koopa, who watches impatiently from Bowser's castle, is waiting too. For you to try to save them. Sweet! We can do the Peach segment now! And it's one of my favorite ones. We get the Sneaky Paracel. And by that I mean we already have it. Hey, Twink. You know the Sneaky Paracel I got on that quiz show? I can change into someone else when I use it, right? So don't you think I can use it to get out of here? Yeah, I bet you can. Why don't you try it out? Press B while facing whoever it is you want to transform into. How come, how come Peach doesn't use this in any other game? Yeah, all the Star Spirits are like the hosts of Mario Party 5. 
One of the few things I actually really like about Mario Party 5. I also really like Mario Party 5's four-player minigames, but the party mode leaves something to be desired. Too luck-based, zero out of ten. A joink! Hello, I am fellow Koopa Troll. Hey, how goes it? <sighs> They've been working me like a dog lately. Hello, sir, I am a fellow Koopa Troll. Say, I heard that Kami Koopa is building a big fiend above Prince Peach's castle. I bet it's a secret weapon designed to defeat Mario. Why do I give Peach a weird voice? You know what? I don't really know. <laughs> I did it in the first dip video and people liked it, so I kept doing it. I, I did it in the first video just because I was... I, to purposefully be super weird and because I can't do girls' voices at all. And then we just ran with it. On patrol! <sighs> Very good, then you can pass through. I, uh, I just want to see... Princess Peach. They just let a random Koopa patrol in, like, Hey, I'm on patrol, I want to go into Princess Peach's room. Ah! <laughs> Such a nice balcony. <laughs> I like this balcony very much. <laughs> Hello, fellow Koopa Troll. I am fellow Koopa Troll. I am normal. Oh my gosh, yeah, I've heard Malice Peach voice. It is... It's uncanny how good it is. <laughs> What are you doing here? Get back to your station! Cammy Koopa will chew us both out if she finds you here instead of at your post! Chill, bro. I'm just fellow Koopa Troll. Nothing suspicious. Why do we both bother patrolling? I mean, don't you agree? Sure, I know Princess Peach got out a couple of times, but this castle's hovering in the middle of the sky! Where's she gonna go, huh? <laughs> I think King Bowser's nervous. He hides it well, though. Uh, she only got out, like, uh, twice. Yeah, pretty sure just twice. Wha- uh, what are you looking at? I, I- I'm not looking for the book you think I'm looking for. I swear, no fooling. I'm trying to study... something. Here, take this and go away. Shooting star. Dude, I get it. We all look- we all like reading the Garfield treasuries. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Still, free shooting star is nice. Shooting stars are pretty good items. Also, I can't believe... I can't believe I didn't have to use any items during that, uh, Huff and Puff fight. Also, I wish Gourmet Guy was still here so you could sneaky Paracel into him. That would be hilarious to be able to walk around Princess Peach's castle as this, like, obese shy guy. Alright, we can put in our Jam and Jelly and our Shooting Star. There we go. Take that! Hello, I am fellow Koopa Troll. <laughs> on patrol, you can pass. Hello, friends. I am normal fellow Koopa Troll. Here for you. Hey, bro. Oh, quiet here. Me? Nervous? No, not me. Uh, you surprised me, that's all. Where is my relief already? My shift has been over for ages now! Listen, could you go find that slacker and get him up here? Please? I'm exhausted! He looks like this. <laughs> of course it's a club. He's probably goofing off somewhere outside the castle. Here, take this and find him. Castle key. It's the key to the entrance of the castle. You won't be able to get downstairs without it. Thanks, bro. Fellow Koopa Patrol to the rescue. Seriously, why why does Peach maybe maybe Cami Koopa confiscates the sneaky parasol at the end of this and we just don't see it? But I feel like an item like this she would hold on to. It's pretty good. Also, very creepy if it existed in real life. But we won't go thinking about that too hard. Are they doing another quiz show? I would love to participate and get another free thing. Hello, everybody! How are you doing? Aww. They cleaned up the quiz show. I wanted to go up against... Imagine if you could take the quiz show as, like, disguised as a Hammer Bro or a Koopa Troll or something, and then go up against Bowser. That would be fantastic.
Ugh, I'm so sleepy. So very sleepy. Just let me catch a quick nap. But don't tell anybody. It seems to be locked. You can't open it. Rats. Ugh, ugh, uh, Princess Peach. Somewhere around here, I'm close by. <laughs> I want to ride the pony. <laughs> hey, it's you! Oh no, it's just me. Hello, me. <laughs> Hello, I am Clubba. Hey, hold up! Your shift. No, oh, hurry up then. But Clubba want to bake cake. <laughs> Clubba really want to bake cake. I love how the sneaky parasol just magically gives us a massive club. And, you know, turns us into a different species. On patrol, very good, you can pass. Hello, friends, I am Clubba. Well, <laughs> I am normal Clubba. Ah, finally! About time! You're so late! Again! Don't you know how to read the shift schedule? Well, I guess I'll let it go this time, but watch it, okay? Okay, have a good shift. I'm shoving off. Don't goof off, Ivor! You're on thin ice, buddy! Why do they need all these guards? It's not like there's anybody here except Peach. It's not like she can go anywhere. Oh, wow. They still haven't repaired this window. The nerve. The cheek. The audacity. I guess it would be hard to get a, a construction crew over here to fix it, but... Bowser's keeping it as a memento for his... Monumental event... Uh, Earth-shattering event of beating Mario. Ooh, this is pretty. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Entry is prohibited for unauthorized people. But, you're already up here, so I guess it's too late. It's a stupid restriction, anyway. I agree, I am normal clubba. Oh, hi! Kami Koopa, I am normal clubba. Okay, okay, everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up with all of the star spirits, we'll still be alright. It pays to expect the worst. Uh, absolutely, affirmative. You're right, Kami Koopa. Is Peach's castle not Bowser's? He's not interested in fixing the window. That's fair. Him, <clears throat> You there! Uh, I am Clubba. You're doing a fine job. Oh, thank you. Clubbas do good job. Keep up the good... Wait. Something's weird about you. You smell... Too nice. Uh... Normal Clubba, use new shampoo. <laughs> yeah! I am Normal Clubba! Uh-oh! <laughs> you! Why you little... Princess Peach! Unbelievable! Out again! Guards, all of you, catch this little runaway and take her back to her room. Oh! And take away her sneaky parasol. Who, whose idea was it to give that to her? Actually, I just realized, Twink doesn't visit us at the end of this world either, does he? What a pleasure meeting you. My name is Clever. Thank you for saving me. Huff and Puff is gone, so the flowers in the flower fields can peacefully live once more. I feel that if you hadn't come, Flowerfields would never have seen the light again. Now, there is only one of us star spirits still trapped. Just one more, Mario. Here, please use my power as you continue your fight. Thanks, Clever. Mario's star energy goes up to six. Mario can now use Timeout, a new star spirit power, and, like, by far the worst in the game. With Timeout, you can stop time and stop all enemies in their tracks. It's just a free stopwatch. It's basically identical to Volibi. Why is this in the game? Now you are able to use the powers of six star spirits. If you use mine well, it should prove to be extremely helpful in battle. No, it doesn't! Don't to become overconfident, though. You must be careful. Bowser has power as well. Remember that even stronger enemies await you. I hope our powers will help you so that you may help us. We're all depending on you. Sonic! Thank you for the raid! Welcome! I need to turn down the volume for that, I believe. <laughs> that took me by surprise. How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome! We just finished uh, Chapter 6 of Paper Mario Pro Mode. 
I'll go back to Starhaven now. I can't wait to get there. I've been terribly worried about everyone. Alright, later, book guy. <laughs> Congratulations, young Mario. You saved the Star Spirit. Because of your efforts, Flowerfields is beautiful again. Thank you, Mario. It was worth living so long to meet a man of your stature. I'm actually pretty short. My girlfriend is taller than me. Please come and see me again. I'll be looking forward to it. Okie dokie! <laughs> you were playing Pokemon Yellow. Nice! That's one of the originals, right? Because there's Pokemon Red and Blue, and then there's Pokemon Yellow, which is kind of like the combination of the two, I think? I don't exactly know. Yep. No, Alright. I, I do know stuff on occasion. Alright, we still need to deal with this uh, Maisy Daisy, though. Alright, to prepare for the Maisy Daisy, we do not need multi bounce. But we do want D down jump. Alright, we don't need Zap Tap. I do want Feeling Fine just in case he puts me to sleep, though. There we go. Didn't want to attack you. Well, gee, I could have used multi bounce. Now it's okay. Star Storm will take him out. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Taste my stars. Thank goodness Star Storm is just barely strong enough to take out bees. <laughs> they should not have nerfed it that much. Oh, hey, free honey syrup, which I can't use. Doggone it, game lag prevented me from doing the weary. Amazing Daisy sings a haunting melody. Free turns remain. Yeah, we gotta deal with this guy quickly. It's the Amazing Daisy. They are frighteningly powerful. Okay! My action guard did not work that time. Oh darn it, Watt is just barely not powerful enough to finish him off. Would Paracarry be powerful enough? We'll try. I think Paracarry Shell Shot will be powerful enough, actually. Yes! Thank goodness. And. That is not nearly as many star points as they normally give out. That is actually kind of disappointing. Oh well, at least I got the bragging rights reward. Nice job, alright. Alright, well, at least we beat one of them. I guess they're still the, probably the best option for level grinding, but they, they're they not giving me, like, 40 star points like they do in the vanilla game. Ho oh, ho, Sean, what do you want to do? I want to go back to Toad Town, Gramps. I don't want to stay in Flower Fields any longer than I have to. I guess we could have gone back to the Sun Tower. If you go back to the Sun Tower after the sun rises in the sky, there's a brand new psalm there, which almost nobody knows about. You're Minty, correct? I have a letter for you. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Another letter duly delivered. To me? Who's it from? The wise Wisterwood. Who's wise Wisterwood? Thank you for making the flowers bloom so beautifully. Oh, it's a thank you note! It says please drop by flower field sometime. Wow, how delightful! But how does wise Wisterwood know about me? Oh, excuse me, I'm rambling. This is a small gift to say thank you for delivering the letter. Please take it. Stop peace. Alright, I'm pretty sure you got no new badges. Correct, I bought you out. Hey, dude. Oh, it's you. You came at such a good time. There's a guest waiting for you. Nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region, a chill place far to the north, at the very end of the Earth. Merle, who hails from there, said that he had something important to tell you, Mario. Merle of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. If he is searching for you, you can be sure something important is afoot. You must go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please hurry. I will run ahead and take care of, uh, take tidings of you to Merle. I think somewhere deep below Toad Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. 
Starboard Valley is located quite near Shiver City. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He waits in Starboard Valley. Okie dokie! Also, at this point, I think... We can explore the rest of Shooting Star Summit now that we have all of the party members. So we can navigate the terrain. So there was a couple of things in this area that we couldn't access, just for lack of party members. Okay, that's the wrong direction. That just leads to the top of the mountain as usual. Ah, yes. Also, I don't know where the hidden panel would be here. This is a new screen. Never before seen. Yeah, the extra areas that the mod added, exactly. Alright, Cooper. We get the Lucky Stars badge! During battle, Mar Mer Merley's spells take effect twice as often? That's an interesting badge. I mean, I don't really use Merley's spells all that much, but that could be genuinely useful. If you do. I wonder how much BP it takes. Alright, and we also have sushi now. Oh man, this area is beautiful. I know there's something hidden here. Why else would they let you dock with sushi? There's got to be something important hidden in the water somewhere. Aha! Knew it! Knew it! Those are some nice looking docks. Those aren't used anywhere else in the game, are they? I wonder if there's anything on this side. Did I already check and I just forgot? I think I did. Whoops. <laughs> Professional streamer, ladies and gentlemen. I also need to find that hidden panel. Maybe it's over here? Oh yeah, give me that. Merlo's gonna have some nice star pieces tonight. All right, there's nothing we can do in that area yet, so we'll go off to Merlo, trade some star pieces. At the very least, I, pr I probably should get the chill out badge. Because that actually could genuinely be helpful to avoid some of these first attacks. Oh, I also... I need to empty my inventory before I can open those. Drat. I wish the strange sack was in this, which lets you carry double the inventory. That was a good addition to Thousand Your Door. Alright, Merlo, I have 28. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Alright, well, I'll start with Chill Out for free star pieces. It's not a bad one. I also think I'll get pretty lucky. It's about time. It's not a bad badge, either. You have an idea for what the white building is for, but don't know when the game lets you start using it. Interesting. Let's see. Crazy Heart. I restore the HP automatically during battle at a fast rate. That could be good. Decreases Mario's attack power by 2, but restores 2 HP per turn. Eh, that doesn't sound that good. Increase Mario's attack power make, make him uncontrollable. That sounds awful. Why would I want to give that up? I'll get the Crazed Heart one. Crazed Heart badge, you need 4 BP. That's only slightly more than regular Happy Heart. And I'll get Flower Finder. Pleasure doing business with you, Marlo.
Alrighty. How much time do we have left? We've got about five minutes. Excellent. <laughs> five minutes. Hmm. Alright, well, we can see what that old coot wants next. We can also, I think we'll go hunting around for more Chuck Quizmo. That seems like a spl that seems like a splendid idea. I hope he doesn't show up in Yoshi's Island, because that's a pain in the butt to reach. <laughs> oh, I should also... No. If my inventory's full, I can't do uh, Rip Cheetos stuff. But I can buy a good minute of those. <laughs> Seven minutes. That's fine. The stream will be over by then. Unless I get really sidetracked. Hey, Koopa Coot. Oh, what perfect timing, young man! I guess you're a generation that's so bad after all. Well, young fella, I don't use that for favors, but there's one thing. I have an old boo friend who lives in Gusty Coast. Can you go and get a package from him? You may have a little trouble finding him since the boos there look pretty similar. I'm sure you can do it, though. A long time ago, when Goompa Bootler and I were traveling, we met the boo and became fast friends. He recently sent me a letter saying there's a package there addressed to me. What are you waiting for? Go on, get it! I mean, please? Why did a package for Koopa Koot show up in Gusty Gulch? I don't know! That's what I want to know! <laughs> there he is. God, where is? Alright, well, I will guarantee get the first question, right? Just by process of elimination. Question! It's the Winter Sports Tour. I guess I guessed the other two and they were wrong. Correct! Here's your star piece. You've answered 40 questions, but we're not done yet. Let's try the next one. Question. Now that it's been repaired, what item can you find on the Goomba family's veranda? That's a shooting star. Correct! Here's your star piece. You've answered 41 questions, but we're not done yet. Let's try the next one. Why didn't they do this in Vanilla Game? Question. How many docks are there in the Jade Jungle? What? Nine? Nope. I don't know that. I don't know the number of docks off the top of my head. I know a lot of useless Paper Mario trivia. That is not one of them. Alright. It's old, reliable Koopa Shop. I can store only two more items? I'm gonna sell those stopwatches, then. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the stopwatches. I'm never gonna use them. Beautiful. Yeah. They're technically valid questions, but there's no way you're gonna just happen to know them. You're, you have to basically get lucky guessing. Alright. I think I'm gonna buy two items from Rip Cheeto, and then we can call it a stream. Maybe look for somebody to raid as well. I don't know who's streaming right now, but... Hey, worst case, you know what? We can always find somebody who's streaming a game I'm interested in and make new friends that way. All right, bro. My good sir, you can't do without this one. It's worlds better than the last one, but for you, the price is the same. 64 coins. I, the eminent Rip Cheeto, will sleep better knowing you bought it, for you are a man of great taste. How about it? Oh, it's a live stream. That's actually pretty good. I figured deeply if you thought that was good. This is also 64 coins. Oh, we get the Bump Attack badge early! Let's Mario destroy a weaker enemy just by running into it. Okay, normally you have to buy like five or six items from him before you get Bump Attack, but I got it early! Nice! Or know the whole layout of it so well you can remember each one. Yeah, but you're also on a time limit. That's the thing. You, you only have so much time before he'll be like, You're out! Ha <laughs> So I'm always too pressured. I just prefer to guess randomly. I feel like we end half the streams at this exact save block. But yeah, that's all the time we have for tonight. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is a great stream. We are going to look for somebody to raid, so hang in for that. All right, let's see. Let's see if anybody who I know is streaming at the current moment. Yeah, next time on Paper Mario Pro Mode, we will be doing a couple of side quest things, and then ultimately we will be heading back to, um, heading to Shipper City. So, it shouldn't take too long to do the side quest. We'll do the Boo Challenge, which if we purposely go into peril, won't take too long. 
And then we have the Koopa Koot favors, and that should be pretty much it. And then we can go to Shiver City pretty quickly, which is nice. I think he has a timer on his questions, because it keeps, like, being a... Dean! 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 All right, it doesn't look like anybody who I know is streaming at the current moment, but let's let's see if anybody's playing Paper Mario themselves. <laughs> I want to see if anybody else is streaming Paper Mario, like maybe for the first time. If so, streaming them could be fun. Preferably someone who's small time. Paper Mario Bombat only challenge? Oh yeah, we're do we're doing that one. <laughs> Somebody somebody's played Paper Mario but only using Bombat. That's the, that's the one. That's the one. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is a fun time. <laughs> Tune in for Wednesday's stream. Uh, we will be. Uh, continuing this at the usual 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. After that, I will be going on vacation for, like, a little a little less than a week, so... Them's the breaks. Alright. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, and God bless.